there has to be consequences for misconduct. Brooklyn Councilman Stephen Levin sponsored the legislation that just made history. New York is now the first city in the nation to roll back a long-standing legal protection for police officers. Levin says the bill was inspired by the police accountability protests of 2020. I was really searching for legislation that we could that we can pursue that would have a meaningful impact. New York City has now limited qualified immunity for police. That's the legal doctrine that shielded NYPD officers from civil lawsuits for violating the constitutional rights of the people they arrested. Basically, it shields government officials, including police officers, uh, from personal liability for certain conduct in the course of their duties. That officer can walk into court and on the very first day say, I'm not even supposed to be here because this plaintiff doesn't have the right to even bring me to court. I'm immune. Ending qualified immunity clears the way for New Yorkers to sue police officers for using excessive force or conducting illegal searches. Councilman Levin's bill passed in the city council with a vote of 37 to 11, an effort supported by Mayor Bill de Blasio. But within the police department, I think officers are shocked, but I don't believe they're surprised. And I say that because there have been a tremendous amount of reforms that have taken place ever since the George Floyd incident. Dr. Robert Gonzalez spent 20 years in the NYPD, working his way up the ranks to assistant commissioner. Gonzalez believes with officers no longer immune to civil lawsuits. They will be concerned about doing their job, especially those officers who are on the front lines against things like guns and drugs, which usually have the potential of violence when you actually try to make that arrest.